Okay, so I've just been to see Sisu, the new film by the John Wick creators. I had the opportunity to go and see this a week early here in the UK, because it is out in the US, but over here it's just coming out now. So let's see if anybody is open to talk about the film. Okay, so we've just got out of seeing Sisu at an unlimited screening, and this gentleman here has been kind enough to stop by and talk a little bit about the film. So I guess first off, just to, try to keep away from spoilers, what did you think of that film? I honestly thought that was really, really good, brilliant. It was a grindhouse kind of throwback to old kind of Nazi murder, Jack Hill kind of films. And it really just took the concept and ran with it. It was great fun, edge of your seat action, violence, the lot. Basically all you could ever ask for. Yeah, uh, just repeat what you said there. It's just spot on, uh, really good. Just as you say, you can't go into this film taking it serious. It does really go quite a bit out there we'll say mm. but just sit back and enjoy this amazing guy killing nazis yeah. so on that note what did you think of the main guy uh, and a little question would you even say he's actually even a man maybe maybe more of an angel at times i thought <laughs> i i suppose you could look at it that way but i think what the film wants you to think of in terms of in comparison to like another revenge film like john wick or female yeah. prisoner scorpion is that it wants you to see him as a man and i think it actually delivered that realism very well and rather than going over the top oh he's some kind of manifestation yeah. of this word yeah it does it does kind of make lean into things to where it is actually somewhat realistic like where he's uh, a scene where he gets hung and he's crawling himself and he hooks himself on a nail. <laughs> to, and it's, yeah, it's incredibly brutal. Or oh, another thought of mine, to be honest, with John Wick, yeah. you, you do not kill dogs, I've, we've, <laughs> we've learned. I'm really glad they didn't opt to kill the dog in this film. Yeah, definitely. Because he might have went super sane, <laughs> even, more, even more so. Or just blonde hair, light yeah, and yeah. everything. I, oh my God, yeah, they, they kept the dog alive. Oh my God, just... That's, one, that's the one thing you do not do. You yeah. do not kill dogs in revenge films. But it didn't happen. We, we came out dog death three, which was... Really I mean, cool. trying to stay, again, stay away from spoiler, but there's a yeah. scene where the dog has a dynamite attached to it and I was like, holy cow, are we really going to do that? Yeah. Fortunately, it doesn't, doesn't happen. Yes, but. Yeah, yeah. Imagine a dog blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a bit just... You know, you have the horse. But yeah. You do get a little bit of an animal death scene, yes, but so not a dog. We can't I, kill I, dogs. I, Please cover your eyes if you aren't into animal death, but seriously, just great film. It really was. Um, <laughs> knee dog deaths either, so. Yeah. So how did you find the story of the film? It did, uh, it did keep it nice and simple. I think it kept it to what it should have been, just as I say, a nice, simple story. There's little hints of there, of his backstory, like where he's taking a bath in the river yeah. or stream, and there's like, there's scars beastly all scars all over him, and it's like, how the hell did that guy get them? Um, I think the story was done very well. I love the episodic structure, the way it was chaptered up. I think it made it just, again, feel very retro, very old-timey, very throwbacky. Um, yeah, I think it kept it as simple as it needed to. It's all you need. You'll get thrown straight into it without too many complications. No side plots whatsoever. Just yeah. him, bang, that's all you need. Yeah. As I did say before, the film does get really quite crazy. Maybe a bit too far at times for some people. Were you just along for the ride? It didn't bother you at all? Or did it sometimes have you going, hmm? Completely. I am an absolute psychotic gore hound. Um, <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to say, but... <laughs> I'm yes, the same. I was completely in for it the whole time. I was smiling. I think it really gets away with a lot for a 15. But yeah. in general, yes, I was completely for everything. The, be the bigger it got, the bigger the smile on my face got. I was sat there for like the last half hour like... <laughs> and they just freaking out, it was brilliant. And the only thing missing for me was a bit of popcorn. I really yeah. could have done with that. But. <laughs> I got lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was definitely a popcorn flick. If you're into this kind of stuff, please give it a shot. You're going to love it. How did you find the villain of the film? Um, I think Jack Doolin did it very well. I think very simplistic. I love the use of silence, the lack of yeah. dialogue. I was going to mention that. How he, I mean, this guy... Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the, the main guy's name. Mm. They allude to like this mythical thing, what was it, Ataris uh, or something? It's something like that. But Atari, they, they, Atari. Uh, they allude to him just being this sort of legend of like wartime era and yes, very much so. Uh, the villain as well, definitely just 
completely compliments him. Um, give, definitely gives a lot of um, Christoph Waltz in Inglorious Bastards. Definitely gives a lot of that. Yeah, that was a really. So he just gives a lot of that energy. Perfectly compliments him. You can kind of see how he kind of starts to realise this is more yeah. than just the war. This is. There's the a moment in time where he's like. I think I might have messed up here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Should have just left them alone and turned around. Weird, but he goes for it in the same way that the main guy goes for it, and it's just all out warfare from there. Yeah. yeah. So ultimately, to end off here, were you happy with the conclusion? Yes, um, I was very happy. I, th I do think the very end was a little like, okay, I'll take it. It was a little silly, but I'll, I'll take it anyway. I think overall, as a film, it was absolutely brilliant. It did exactly what it set out to do. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Well, we've just got out of seeing Susu. Sisu. Sisu.